Hi everybody. This is a continuation to Swift's and Xcode. We're actually going to learn how to use the if statement and some of the the uh, some of the variables and some of the uh, uh, the switch statement we've learned in the in the playground and apply it in an app in a simple app that does a BMI calculation. All right. We're going to go ahead and start with Xcode and we're going to create a new app, new project. All right, and it's going to be a single view. And I'm going to call it simple BMI app. Okay. Uh, you can call it app, uh, whatever. Okay, so now um, we, the language we're going to use is Swift. The device is going to be iPhone. Uh, we're not going to use Core Data. And then we click on Next. And where are we going to store it? I'm going to store it in desktop. And I have created a folder here. Okay, let's put it in there okay then we create the crate all right and to review what we've done previously if you look at this is your project and in the last video in the hello world app I kind of went through it maybe quickly but let me explain what's happening here we have our project components we have the project properties and then we have some of the project, the, the property windows and the object windows. Now, this is my name of the app. Again, I'm not going to go through this, but we're using it. Uh, this is the device we're using is for iPhone. And here I can specify the target. Now, I'm going to use only portrait. Okay. So this app will run in portrait. Now, if you want to do landscape and uh, left and right, that's fine. But we're going to use this later on in more advanced video. For now, for simplicity, we're going to use uh, and preset screens uh, easier at this level. Okay, So we don't have to go into more complex uh, app. All right, so that is your app. Now, here we have the app delegate, as I was, I was explaining, as I explained before. This is the life cycle of your app. It has the different stages that could happen to an app. You know, whether it starts, finish launching, it enters background, enters foreground, it terminate, and things like that. And then, as I said, as we advance in these videos, you'll see that how we can use these uh, different uh, stages in your app. Now, the first class that we saw is called the view controller. Now, uh, a view controller usually is associated with a screen in the storyboard. So you have a storyboard, you have a screen on your storyboard, and that screen is usually tied to a view controller. And I'll, I'll go in details in a minute. We have also, this is a new, we have something called launch screen. In, in the past, it used to be an image, okay, default image, where it's, it's like a splash screen. This screen appears for a few seconds or less than a second, and then it disappears from the screen. So when you're first, you're, when you launch your screen, this is what will happen. This is what you'll see. Now you can customize this, and we're going to customize this. Before we do this. There's a feature, uh, it's not a new feature, but this is, this is uh, because of the different de device sizes. Now, auto layout, there's something called auto layout, is kind of important. That means you design your app on one sc on, uh, for, for uh, one time, and it can run on different devices. But we have to use something auto layout and constraints and things like that. But again, for the sake of this, uh, for the sake of this video, we're not going to do that. We're going, I mean, the main focus on how to create a simple app, how we use some of the UI element, and then how we use the if statements, variables, simple calculations, and switch statement. So if you notice, we have this button right here. 
And this one, show the file inspector. We are going to disable the auto layout and the use size classes. If you disable this, it says, are you sure? Yes, disable. Now here it says still use the launch screen. If you don't want to use the launch screen, then when your first your app starts, it does not show the screen. So I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to use it. I'm going back to the property. This is, if you're not familiar with this, this is in the past, before the storyboard, we used to have what we call NIP files. NIP files like display files. And it's a screen, and that screen is usually tied to a, a program or a, a, a class. Now, I am going to say we're going to run this on four inches form, okay, the screen, okay, just for simplicity. All right. Well, later on, as I said, as we advance, you can make it whatever you want. Okay. And here you can make this is this is your this is your uh, this is your label. And here, while we are at labels, you can say specify how many how many lines you want. Okay. And then uh, you can have multiple lines. Okay. Notice when I do that, then the label. You can have, uh, it's not shown in one line. Otherwise, if it is on one line, it will be truncated at the end. All right. Now, you can add an image here if you want to add an image. I already have an image. So I can put an image view. And just to make it, uh, the launch screen not as boring. And I have an image in this folder here. Uh, where we call it okay I just copied an image in the net and then you can just say drag this into your project by just simply dragging it here now this image you need to copy this image if you don't copy this image it's still sitting outside your project so when you zip your project and send it somebody or send it somewhere that that file is not there so I click on finish. So it copied the image. And then to make sure that it's there, uh, where is the image? We should have the image here. Okay. Now in your starter launch, launch product, I will put the image for this as a BMI logo. All right. You see that? You can, of course. Minimize it and things like that. I mean, I hit Command B to save and run. Okay, save and compile. All right, you can do the same thing from product, run from here, build from here, clean. Okay, so you can do that either with a shortcut, Command B to build it, Command R to run it. Okay, so this is called a NIP file. It has a file owner, it has a view. This view, you can set the background if you want to any color you want. So you can go in here, and then this is your background of the view. You can set it to whatever you want. Now, if I run it, you'll notice then the first thing happens. You got that screen, and then it took me to the main screen. Okay. You notice that it did not was not lined up properly so you can this is you can use this line to for line up properly and uh, to line it up in the middle okay so this is what your app launch screen looks like because it looks like right now because it was quick you didn't see it all right so that is for the startup the screen now we need to design our storyboard if you go to the storyboard again this is my screen. I want to make it like as as I say, uh, as I said, we're gonna make it four inch for simplicity only. Okay, so four inch is actually iPhone five. All right. Now the BMI requires two calculate two parent two values, which is the height and the weight. Now you can enter the you can put the uh, you can enter the uh, 
uh, you can put a text field, what we call a text field, to enter those values. But text field then requires a keyboard, and then requires we have to hide the keyboard, and then we have to convert the values. So I, in this video only, I've decided to use something different. We're going to use something called slider. Okay. And we'll go over the slider in more details in a minute. All right. And then we have, so I'm going to have something called a slider for the weight and then a slider for the height. Okay. And I'm going to have labels that say enter or select. Let's put it here. And this label. Uh, let's move those all down a little bit. We will have a label, main label here first in the center. And then we have another label, command copy and command V for this value. Command copy and command V for this value. I'm going to have a button to do the calculation. There are different ways to do this, but a button. Uh, the purpose, the reason I'm showing you a button, so you can learn some actions with a button. Now you could do the same thing with the slider, but we leave it as a button. And then we have another label for the result. Okay. So that is the UI. Now let's change a few things. This should say, uh, instead of that, let's say BMI, simple PMI, BMI. So this this should say symbol simple BMI okay and we will have the alignment okay so we will align it in the center you can change it to uh, have different you can make it bold if you want you can change the color for this okay so if you want to select a different color orange okay same thing with the label here this should say select this is your weight, okay? So this is the weight. The slider represents the weight. Again, you can do same thing. And this should say height. All right. And this will say result. Okay. Now, to be consistent, we're going to use similar colors and I'm going to use the orange color all right the button should say check instead of button we have check now buttons have attribute but again this is not the main focus we're, we're starting with the simple app okay buttons can have different attributes you can put a background image you can put an image instead of just simple that simple uh, text Okay. Now let's take a let's take a look at the slider. Now the slider is has properties. One of them is the minimum value and the maximum value, and then the current value and the current value, which is this. This is your current value right now. It's set to zero point five, so it's in the middle weight. Since it's weight, we're gonna use kilogram. So we're gonna put a minimum value of fifty kilogram and a maximum value of two hundred kilogram. And the middle value is going to be 75 kilogram. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Let's make it 100. Uh, that's 100 is too much. Okay. Um, 200, that's too much. Let's make it 150. <laughs> All right. Somewhere like that. And the, way, the height, it's going to be in meters. So in here, we're going to say height. The height. We're going to start with one, one meter, two, 2.0 meter, okay? And then the current value is 1.5, okay? Now, we're going to give the user more descriptive than that, so we're going to say this is in kilogram, okay? And this is in meters, so we're going to say this is in meters, so they would know. OK. All right, let's move that a little bit up. 
Okay. Now I notice I'm not using any of the auto layout functions or the the uh, the constraints. We call them constraints again because we want to focus on the the first app. Easy enough. Learn the basics, and then we can uh, add more complexity as we go. This has also the min and max track the colors right now is default is blue you can change that you can say i want for example different i don't want blue i want green now notice this is green same thing that could happen here i don't want to be consistent we'll make it also a green okay the min value okay we'll make it green i think this is the green okay like that all right now, if we run the app, you'll see that it looks fine, but it's, it's not, not correct. Why is it not correct? Because it's running on a different device. Do you see this? Right now, it's running on iPhone 6 because I, I've made my screen for iPhone 5. So I'm going to say, look, I'm going to run it on iPhone 5 or iPhone 5S. Now, if we run it, it should look fine. Okay. All right. Okay, so that is my app so far. Now, when I slide this, the value of the slider, it, we call this a slider, is changing, but I have no idea what am I selecting. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do, we want to put a label here. And this label changes as we change the screen, change the slider. All right. Now, before I dive into this and dive into the code, let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. This is a view controller. This view controller has a class that is tied to it. The class that is tied to the screen is called view controller, which is this. Okay. It has a name of a class. And it has the in, it's a type of a UI view controller, meaning what it is the parent of this is a UI view, controller, UI view controller. If you go back to the storyboard, this is what we call the control model view. Okay, so I have the view, I have the control, this is the class. So the view and the class. If you can think about it, there are two separate things. The only way I can communicate with them is through what we call outlets and actions. So everything that here you have on the screen, if you want to do something in the code, you want to change the value, you want to use the value, you want to produce an output, you will have to have something that represent them in this class, Swift class, and they are tied together. We call those outlets and actions. Outlets are for uh, sending data back and forth. Actions are to do things, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm gonna make the screen, uh, maximize here so you can see what we're talking about now in the past before storyboard and before uh, this code assistant we used to actually write the code in the xcode in the uh, in the objective c class have the nib file or the the screen that you saw earlier the and then tie them together tie the actions together now we have this code assistant. All I can do, all I need to do is that the things that I want to use, I use either control, click on it and hit control. And I can drag it into this one. Or the other way, if you have a mouse, right click and drag it into here. Okay. See, this is, would be an outlet. All right. That, okay. This one we're not going to use. Which one are we going to use? We're going to use uh, the sliders, this label, and the button. 
let's do the button first. The button, you drag and drag, click and drag, we have something called, it's an outlet or an action. An outlet allows me to change the properties of that button, the text, the label, the color, all of that. But an action, it's a behavior. So I'm going to say calculate calc BMI. So what am I, I'm doing is that I'm invoking or creating a method or a function, if you will, that is being called every time you touch up inside that button. So when you touch inside, inside that button, you're calling this method. So if I click on connect, you'll see that I've created this method called IB action. We have an IB action function. The name of the method is calc BBMI. Now this is a parameter. We haven't covered functions yet, but we will get to it later on. The at sign IB action means that I'm indicating it's an IB action. Okay, there is two types. There is IB action and there's IB outlet. All right. All right, so this is the uh, this is the IB action for the button. Now we want to create, we want to do the same thing with this label. Now if I drag it and drop it here, Jennifer, I'm on the computer. She went shopping. This one here, I have, we're going to call it LBL result. All right. And this is an action. This is an outlet. This outlet is the type of this is UI label. That means what? That means that this is a label, it would, we will have a label here, this label tied to a label on the screen. So if I hit connect, you notice I created an IB outlet and it's the type of this outlet, the axis of this outlet is weak, it's var, that means variable, the result, it's called the result and it's UI label. Now we will cover this later on, but th think about this, this is for memory retention okay so you have weak you have strong you used to have strong weak uh, and then before what we call it memory uh, management that is new in uh, in xcode you will have to allocate and deallocate all of this okay so this has made it a lot easier so uh, what we're doing here we're creating a link between the screen and the class the variables that we that when we change basically will take effect on this screen so if i change the value of this the, of this uh, this label it will actually take effect on the screen all right we have a couple more labels if you want to switch back and forth what you do is that you click on this now we're back to the normal screen and i want to go back to this and i want to add a couple more labels okay one label is, well, just do this here, command copy and command V. All right, and this will reflect, we're gonna make it smaller. Uh, let's make it, okay, smaller. All right, and we wanna make it lined up to the left uh, you can make it a little bit smaller now this would be the default value when the program starts remember what was the default value for the slider it was 75 so this will say 75 instead of that 75 kilogram okay and this same thing i'm going to copy this command copy and then command v and i'm going to make this for the height 1.5 meter okay why i put this so when we change the value of the slider it will actually display what i have selected here okay that would be the next step but before we do this we will have again to create outlet to this one so if we go here to code assist close this 
and then let's just create an outlet for LBL and this would be the weight okay and we we'll do the same thing notice when I drag it I drag it in an empty spot I don't put it inside a method or inside another function so I'll drag it and drop it here right click drag and drop and it's an outlet and this would be LBL height okay I'm just using my own naming convention. You can use whatever you want. All right. So we're done with this part. Okay. Let's go close the code assistant. Now if you hit Command B, nothing happens. Even if you change this, nothing happens. Okay. Now the second part where we actually put an action, when you change this, it will put changes the value here. When you change this, it will change the value in here. All right, I'm going to stop this video and then give you a break, and then we'll continue on another video. Okay.